overall it was uh, quite a good, wasn't it, Jasmine? Yeah, how would, how would you have rated that? If you were going to rate it, what would you rate it out of? Ten. Ten? Ten out of ten for Jasmine, so, yeah, very happy, aren't you? Okay, so here we are, about to begin our cabbage tour. Looking forward to this one. Three, yeah. Four. One there. You got that one as well. Yeah. From the day of the journey of the sun through the cycles of the moon. Calendar stone. Seven. So we've got giant chocolate buttons, fudge, Oreo bits, marshmallows and jelly babies. And this is the free tasting area. Make sure it's all up. I can't really mix buttons. And I've got chocolate buttons and fudge. Oh, nice that one. That one nice. Chuckle beans, I've never seen them before. Chuckle beans. Chuckle beans. Chuckle beans. Oh, there's the teapots, look. That's what he's making down there. Three bits, so. mm -hmm. Happy thirtieth birthday! Old tin of roses there, look. Mm -hmm. The old, the old, the old cabbage look jazz. Fruit and nut. Find them misshapes. Right, so that's Cadbury's World experience done. Um, it was really good. We got uh, loads of free chocolate. You get loads of free chocolate. You get free chocolate when you arrive. Um, I don't know if that's specific for uh, Merlin membership or not, but um, it seemed like everyone were getting free chocolate bars when you arrived. Uh, you then get the tour, it shows you the history of the cocoa and where it comes from and the history of Cadbury 
uh, we then get some uh, free tasting session. Uh, so we got a um, you get a little tub of chocolate in it, and then a couple of toppings that you can have. So I had the fudge and chocolate buttons. And Jasmine, what did you have? I had um, the just chocolate buttons. And Jasmine just had the chocolate buttons. And then you go through uh, onto the ride, the Freddo ride. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, it's a new uh, feature here at Cadbury's World. It, uh, it's a shooting ride that you go on. It was quite good, uh, quite enjoyed it. Yeah, quite good, we quite enjoyed that. And then he got another free chocolate bar on the way out. So overall, it was uh, quite good, wasn't it, Jasmine? Mm-hmm. Yeah, how would, how would you have rated that? Uh, if he was going to rate it, what would you rate it out of? 10. 10? 10 out of 10 for Jasmine, so. And now we're going to go around and uh, we're going to go and check out the rest of the park from the outside and see what it has to offer. Okay, so now we're going to the 4D Chocolate Adventure, Bourneville Experience and Afghan Adventure area. <laughs> so this is the cream egg, cabbage cream egg car. So I'll quickly show you that. Oh, how cool is that? And um, we've done the 4D experience, 4D chocolate experience. And that was actually really good. I really, really enjoyed that. It's a cinema, uh, cinema experience. And this is all part of the cabbage factory here. Big, big place. Bourneville. <coughs> so it's all the so. Cabris Cream Egg was designed in 1971. The fake fake shop. 1920. <laughs> the Whisper 1983. It was actually trialled in the northeast of England. And they're 200 years. 1024. Richard Cadbury's umbrella. Here's a picture of what the factory uh, looks like. And we walked around here, there's the church, and there's the, um, the rest house, and number eight, where his ashes are buried. And number one's the Bourneville School, with the clock tower. It's funded by George Elizabeth Cadbury. The room of mirrors. Infinite Lewis's. <laughs> Infinite room of mirrors. That's what you call a proper tin. So this is where you can write your name in chocolate or do me a lovely picture. 
Okay. Enjoy. Pleasure okay. remember donating. <laughs> Thank you. Give it your names. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Quite very good, but do it. Did you guys do the tour first, or are you doing this? Yeah, we've done the tour, yeah. yeah. Did you see the demonstration? We tried, yeah. It was yeah, busy. It was a bit busy, yeah. okay. So, did you manage to hear why we turned the chocolate? What's the purpose? No? So, we're cooling the chocolate down, okay? So we need it to be down to around 27 and a half degrees. Yeah. Because it's usually around 50 when it's melted, okay? If we were to just put it straight into mold, it would start to split, it wouldn't be all crumbly, and it wouldn't have that nice shine and snap. So then with this one, you want to try and scoop it back together again. So we're keeping the chocolate moving. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So keeping the chocolate moving. Okay, they keep it moving. Down evenly. Can you feel it getting thicker? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you don't want it to get too thick because then it's over tempered. So you'll know you start, if you start to go a bit too far once it starts to lose its shine. Yeah. Okay. still need it to be a bit liquidy, still very shiny. Just got to keep yeah. turning it. Yeah? And then the way you can it. check is if you take a palette knife and you lift the chocolate up, if it holds its shape whilst it falls onto the table, then it's ready to go. Yeah, just let it drop. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Is that good? Yeah, perfect, guys. Up forwards, please, everybody. That's a little bit over, but don't worry, don't worry. Oh, Shelly's overdone it. <laughs> She's overdone it. Yeah, yeah, it's quite relaxing. It is, yeah. Yeah, that's your chocolate tub for guys. That's done. Is that it? Is that done? Yeah, that's done. Oh, wow, that's cool. Jasmine's still a bit thick. Stop it to yours, Jasmine. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Thank you.